This is the Sports Hub from International VentureCraft in Vancouver, Canada. People have always looked for ways to explore the deep, but never like this. And this is what's called an ambient pressure submersible. Is that like a conventional sub? It's not like a conventional sub at all. The difference is, in an ambient pressure sub, we balance the air pressure inside with the water pressure outside, no matter how deep we go. See that opening in the back? No, it's not a mistake. It allows water inside the sub's cockpit to be kept waist high. Here's how it works. Like a cup held upside down in water, air gets trapped at the top. As we dive deeper, water pressure increases and the water level inside the sub will start to rise. To keep this from happening, the sub's external tanks blast additional air into the cockpit. So it's like a diving bell with a motor. It's like a diving bell with a motor and a couple of computers. <laughs> well, we're not here to stare at it. Let's go put it to use. Okay. In 1986, the guys at International VentureCraft set out to make them ready to use out of the box. So our destination today is a shipwreck called the Nakaya. It's a 120 foot long minesweeper and uh, sitting in about 80 feet of water. The ship's a quarter mile from shore, but the sports sub's got batteries that can last all day. Add to that a supply of air that could keep us down for a maximum of two hours under optimal conditions and our trip's no problem. To start our dive, we flood the forward and rear ballast tanks with water. Here we go. This is our water line outside coming creeping up our windows. We can see the water under the nose is uh -huh. coming right up to our dashboard windows. There it is. You can't even feel yourself submerging them. Not really. Do you feel a little bit of pressure yeah, in your ears? Yeah, a little bit. All right, so our forward and uh, aft ballast tanks are now flooded. These are all the way full of water. There's no more air in them. So the only air pocket that's keeping us afloat is the air in this cockpit. And a good time to go find a shipwreck. That's a great time. I say we go do that. What's that gurgling noise? The buoyancy control system. So, as we descend, the pressure in this cockpit is, is increasing. So to make, maintain the volume, we want to uh, be blasting air into it so the water level doesn't rise. I'm gonna go down a little bit further here. Mind if I try it? Go ahead. I think I gave it full throttle there by accident. Oh, we're right over the Nakai. Oh, right? yeah. oh, oh boy. Look at this. Oh boy. Oh my heaven. Oh look at that. We're here. Oh, we're here. Look at that. Oh! Oh Great my job. heavens. <laughs> oh! That excellent or what? Right on top of it. Look at the chain. <laughs> oh wow. It's went right by it. Yeah, we're down about a thousand pounds of pressure in our main tank, so that's usually a good idea to start heading for the surface at that point. Mm -hmm. What rate are we allowed to ascend? We should ascend no faster than one foot a second. That's a, a rate that's, uh, that's a recommended maximum rate or a safe rate for scuba divers. So I'm going to go ahead and bring it to the surface now. Here we are. Oh, <laughs>